The National Taras Shevchenko Museum in central Kiev is hosting an exhibition titled The Invisible. It is dedicated to Ukrainian painter Maria Primachenko, revered for her contributions to the naive art movement. Fifty-five of her works are on display. We divided works between rooms by theme. We've got the fantastic beasts, then there's the room with the domestic animals. The exhibition was named The Invisible because, rather unusually, the organizers also put the reverse sides of the paintings on display. This allows visitors to see what is normally invisible. For the first time, we are shown the reverse side of the paintings. The captions are written by Maria Promachenko herself. We have photographed them and printed them below the paintings. Nobody has ever done it before. It shows these works in a new light. Sometimes captions reveal a lot more information and the plot becomes more interesting. It's like a comic book. Victoria Semenit is a Lithuanian living in Kiev. She first learned about Primachenko as a child when her father gave her an illustrated book dedicated to the artist. For me, it's an opportunity to meet my favorite artist again after so many years. It's very vivid, but at the same time naive. Art which carries a lot of wisdom. Meanwhile, upstairs in the museum's atrium, the theater troupe Charge is rehearsing its latest play. For Primachenko lovers, the actors are to perform Paradise Land. The play unveils the two different realms of Primachenko's art. Her life was divided into real life and the life of her imagination, different images, her dreams and her childhood fears. And we are combining all this. Three, two, 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 three, two